Hello Pisces, my name is Tiffany from Tiffany's Tarology and it's so good to be here reading again for all of you. I want to just give you guys a couple of little quick life updates. Always check the timestamps below if you kind of want to zoom through this part. I always include those for you guys. But Saturday on the 26th we did a really cute Halloween themed reading and you guys really enjoyed it. I was so happy that it still got good reviews. I wasn't sure how it was going to go but a lot of you really enjoyed the message and I was happy that we did some Something fun. That night I was able to go ahead and do my tarot table which I'll insert like a picture or maybe a small clip here just probably a couple pictures um, but it went really well. I was reading tarot for free live from about 7 45 p.m. to almost 2 a.m. I had a line I had people who couldn't even get readings it was so wonderful I didn't put time limits on anybody I just allowed the readings to go and just enjoyed it and I felt so in my skin I dressed up as a witch definitely have a past life as a witch and so it felt good second update is a lot of you guys saw that I also am fostering a puppy we tried to reintroduce to mom today because she did have a couple of more puppies. Um, she had three when I got this puppy and then she had four more. So she had seven in total, two of which um, have passed on, one of which I'm fostering and she's doing well with the others. When we tried to reintroduce the puppy I'm fostering to mom, she wasn't having it. So she's rejecting this puppy and the other puppies for some reason, uh, but taking care of some of them as well. I don't really know why, but I appreciate you guys being patient with me. Bottle feeding a like literally day old puppy is a journey in itself. A lot of waking up, a lot of sleeplessness. The first night today we're doing a lot better and puppy seems strong. So thank you again, all of you for your well wishes, your love, your understanding. And Pisces, we're going to do a Kipper reading. That's where we use these small Kipper cards to dive into usually a little bit of a longer reading. They tend to run a little bit longer if they if they end up being quite deep and with this particular reading we'll kind of see whatever wants to come out we'll pull tarot to clarify it there will be time stamps for you Pisces so I hope you're doing well and I hope that you had a wonderful Halloween weekend and you're enjoying the end of this October wow <laughs> I'm not gonna take those yet but uh, the energy is intense here Pisces so spirit guides what is it that Pisces needs to hear today all right, Pisces, we have mature woman. That could be you, or that could be a mature woman in your life. We have imprisonment. Are you feeling trapped? Are you feeling stuck? Is there a desire for more? Privileged lady, kind of like the wealthy man in this card. Thief. Interesting interesting Pisces <laughs> there is somebody that I think wants what you've got courtship I'm gonna pull one more and expectation bottom of the deck you have occupation all right Pisces so let's look at these cards here so what I see here, Pisces, is you're coming up as this mature woman who is doing well, kind of like giving me this Nine of Pentacles energy, um, doing well by yourself in the process of possibly moving into a more single energy, moving away from this courtship that's come up in your life. And I see there being an element of either someone wanting what you have or because of this courtship, um you're reclaiming some of what you've lost from this thief and being able to come into some wealth or into some type of privilege. But the situation right now has you feeling a little bit trapped and I feel like you're waiting for the dam to break. You're waiting for the the bars to open, for the floodgates to move forward. So there could be some issues with like stagnancy and whatever is going on with this courtship does involve money or possessions where you feel like somebody is trying to take from you. Someone is not being honest with you. And all in all, what I get is if I had to put all these cards together into like a sentence, you're stuck in a situation that you're really allowing to come to a close, which is beautiful. 
And you're going to reclaim that which has been stolen from you and turn it into financial security, wealth for yourself. And it does involve a partnership of some sort. For some of you, this is going to be romantic. For others of you, this could be family, um, a business partner. And I'm also feeling the energy that I also could be an employer. Some of you could be going through a court case and whatever has been taken from you, not paid out to you, held back. There's like this in, uh, energy of being in limbo. It's going to be returned to you. And I feel like even more than you thought. Because this privileged lady here is doing really, really well. Again, in the deck, another reader had pointed it out. And I said, that's true. They have wealthy man, but they don't have wealthy woman. So this is kind of the counterpart of the wealthy man. And I think it really has to just do with the era that these cards are modeled after. A lot of women didn't have their own wealth. They were privileged. They were married into it. So did some of you <laughs> marry into wealth? Are some of you coming into wealth because of someone else, an inheritance perhaps, um, a court settlement, a divorce? Um, maybe some of you are actually leaving a job and they have to do, uh, I forget what it's called, but a severance package, like something like that could be coming in for you. So let's check this out, Pisces. I think I'm going to put those two together and we'll do expectation and imprisonment together. And we'll kind of read it that way so it's not too, too long. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start off with this mature woman who I'm feeling is your energy. If you're not a woman, the Kipper does tend to be very specific. But you could be a man who is in a divine feminine energy. So take it as it, re as it resonates or flip the roles around if this is a person that you're dealing with as a masculine. So Spirit Guides, tell me about... This mature woman and the privilege that is coming into her life. I feel like the privilege is on, on its way. That's what you're in expectation of. We have five of wands, so <laughs> I'm not going to take all this. It's been through some conflict. And I apologize if you guys can hear my dogs barking. We have the high priestess, so definitely showing up in your energy here, Pisces. We have the sun. Page of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Tower, the Three of Swords, and our last card will be the Empress in Reverse. Interesting. Interesting. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands. So I definitely feel that if you haven't received news of whatever this is that wants to come in, t in for you, Pisces, about this wealth, about this thief, about this property, or whatever is owed to you, you're about to hear about it. In regard to you and the privilege that you have, it looks as though there's been a situation in your life where you've had to really battle it out with somebody. You've come to the conclusion that the conflict, the issues, the ba back and forth of it all, the battles that you've had to incur with this person, they've really led to nothing <laughs> but heartbreak, heartache, disagreements, and a separation that I feel like is ensuing at this time. You have been holding on to the hope, even though I feel like there could be this energy of spirit. Why isn't it happening? What's going on? Where is, where is this money or where is this property or when will this be over? I feel like you're trusting yourself still with the high priestess. She trusts her intuition. She knows that things are on their way to you. And I feel like you've just in the process of going through whatever this is, you're allowing yourself to become the tower. You're allowing yourself to let things fall apart. And you're allowing yourself to go through the process of shedding this, the old skin of someone who didn't value herself. The Empress in reverse can be an, an energy of like a person who doesn't have abundance, a person who's given away their abundance, a person who doesn't see their worth or see their value. And I feel like this particular situation with, with this person, it's definitely caused you to go through periods where you're just like, 
I don't know, like, it's hard to, hard to put into words, but you've gone through a period of having to realize who you are again. And I see you with the sun and the page of wands going on a new journey after this payout or after the separation occurs and you're just putting yourself into a place where you're re you're starting over. I feel like a restart energy is coming through these cards. And you've had to be patient. You've had to be quiet. Some of you could even be doing your own readings or getting readings with the high priestess about this situation. But the tower that comes works in your favor to really flip the script with this Empress in reverse. Tell us more though, Spirit. What's going on with this tower? What's this tower about for Pisces? It's like something that had to fall apart. So things had to get worse before they get better for you. You could be in the process of the tower falling apart. Okay. So this is a dissolution of either a job, a marriage, a home. Some type of partnership. It's falling apart. And you, Pisces, I feel like you know <laughs> good and well like what's coming on the other side. And you're just allowing yourself this space. You've created a barrier, a wall. You're defending yourself. And you know that it's time for you to get that which you deserve. This heartbreak has been weighing heavily on your heart. So for a lot of you, this was a person that you deeply cared about. Or a job that you deeply cared about. A position that you really cared about. But I don't want you to worry because with the sun here. Truly is telling me that. After all this falls apart, after all this drama concludes, after all this five of wands, you know, energy exits your life, you end up exactly where you need to be. And the sun is very much so indicative of prosperity. It's indicative of happiness. It's indicative of a bright future, a new beginning. There is a happily ever after <laughs> kind of vibe to this. But the privilege that you're going to come in to is as a result of deep heartbreak that the mature woman has had to go through. Likely with the mature man. I was really surprised that he didn't show up, but there was that courtship card. So let's see about imprisonment and expectation for you, Pisces. Again, With these two cards, I feel like you know that you're so close to being released from something that's held you bondage, someone that has held you captive, a situation where your money has been held up. Um, and I just see this woman like in that high priestess energy, like looking out into the future, looking through that window. She knows it's coming. She's been waiting for it for a while, but she knows that the imprisonment is coming to an end. So spare guides, tell us a little bit about this expectation and imprisonment that Pisces is going through. So the seven of cups, as some of you do feel a little bit confused. Maybe there's multiple ways that this could go, multiple options. The higher font is here. Could have You could uh, be dealing again with something legal, a business. We have the tower and the seven of wands coming back out. We have the ace of cups. The Knight of Cups, the world, I kind of got to cover her up a little bit, the Queen of Cups in reverse, on the bottom of the deck you have the Hermit. So Pisces, you have been waiting for a while. The Hermit card is a card um, of, I believe, deep discipline. She's closed the laptop. She's isolated herself. She's sitting in this area of expectation, waiting for that message, waiting for that phone call, waiting to hear back from the lawyer, waiting to hear back from the employer, whatever the case is. But there's news, <laughs> I feel like, coming through. You're, you're in expectation of some news that wants to come in for you that's going to help you see what's coming through. As I move the deck, the sudden wealth card flipped over. So there's definitely an energy here of like waiting to receive that, that waiting to receive that which has been owed to you. I see this also being a period of time where you've had to um, go within for answers. And if you've been trying to seek answers outside of yourself, maybe you're hitting brick walls. 
again, with this Seven of Cups, there could be multiple options, multiple routes, difficulty narrowing down how to get out of this imprisonment, how to get out of this situation, whether it's a marriage, a job, a home situation, a family situation, whatever it is that has you feeling stuck. And when we see the Seven of Cups, it does give us the option, though, to say, hey, you've got choices, you've got options, you've got different ways that you could go about this. So I also like that because there's not one right way uh, to do this, but it also could be causing some confusion because there's so much going on outside of you right now, Pisces, that whatever you're working through with this person or this this uh, employment situation, um, this this agreement situation, whatever it might be for you, it's like there's other factors, other people involved that are slowing this process down. With the Hierophant, this is a higher level of commitment. So for sure, those of you who are who are feeling imprisoned within a marriage, the Hierophant can represent that. Those of you who are feeling imprisoned within your family, the Hierophant can represent that as well as institutions. Like, could it be a court situation that's being held up? There's always that possibility with the Hierophant. So I want you to understand that things are being worked out for you. The tower shows back up because there's about to be a sudden change in your situation that's going to cause all of this to start crumbling down and for you to be able to really be in your power again because you're showing up, Pisces, as Queen of Cups in reverse. This could be your energy, almost like the Empress in reverse, where you're just not seeing your worth, you're not feeling good about yourself. This could also be an emotionally manipulative person who could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's check that out and see what we get. Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? Whose energy is this? Ooh, Five of Swords. Tell me more. Page of Pentacles. Five of Cups in the bottom. So that Queen of Cups could definitely be a person that you've been working with. Someone who hasn't been able to really show up in a way where, they, where they're giving you like your share. They're giving you what you're owed. They're coming with page energy. Five of Swords is a person who's very um, non-agreeable, disagreeable. So this definitely could be the energy for some of you. It is your energy of just feeling out of sorts and not in your upright Queen of Cups energy. For others of you, this is another water sign that you're dealing with who is being very manipulative, especially emotionally manipulative and possibly with your finances as well. Then we have here the Seven of Wands again. This is you feeling trapped. This is that behind the bars energy that we see from the imprisonment card. And... This energy here of being behind the bars, it's been something that you've been dealing with for so long that you see there's this little like mouse, there's an energy of like tattered clothes. I thought I had seen a spider web, but I think that was his clothing. But it's just been a while of you being behind bars. This, this has been a long time coming for you, Pisces. And I feel like there's some fatigue, there's some tiredness. Um, some of you are also feeling, I'm tired of always having to fight. I'm tired of always having to do things on my own. Um, I'm tired of always having to be on the defensive. That energy is coming through quite strongly right now. But what I want to tell you is that good news is coming in for you. You have the Knight of Cups to the Ace of Cups, Pisces. And these cards are pure joy. This means that as you're in expectation of news, the news coming in for you is going to really be so fulfilling that your cup overflows with joy, with happiness, with peace, with harmony. It is going to work out. Whatever it is that you've been kind of toying and tussling with, whatever this situation is that has had you in, ex in expectation for so long, it's going to turn in your favor and you're going to be very happy with the outcome. Your patience and maybe a little bit of being flexible, the boundaries that you've had to put up, the imprisonment that you felt, it's not going to be in vain. This situation is going to allow you to, as the world card indicates, bring something to a close, bring something to an end. Clear up 
you know, any loose ends with this situation and move on. This cycle is over. The lesson is learned. The person that came into your life that you needed to go through this with this manipulator, this emotional baggage that you've had to carry, these fights that have had you feeling out of sorts, the fact that they want to come to you with page energy instead of knight, queen, king energy, you're going to be able to let that go and allow this tower to fall. What I want to know, though, is, since the tower came out again, why the tower this time, spirit? Yeah, get ready to put down the burdens. It's over. Your angels, your guides are literally allowing the tower to fall so that this burden, this expectation, this waiting, this pain, this, this heaviness can be released. And what's coming in with this Knight of Cups? What's this news for Pisces? Eight of Pentacles, what you've been working on is finally going to come to fruition. So whatever this is, if you've been waiting for good news, <laughs> that's going to get you out of here where you can rebuild. I feel a rebuild energy. And what's this Ace of Cups? This is a brand new beginning for you, Pisces. It's going to be worth the wait. So Queen of Swords to the Five of Wands for that Ace of Cups. After putting your foot down, maybe working with lawyers working with someone who's in high authority and going through a lot of discomfort. The five of wands came up before for us in the last spread. You end up with this happy, you know, I keep getting that energy of like happily ever after more than you could imagine because it worked in your favor. There is law and order being brought to this situation. There is someone or an entity or maybe there's more than one person that you've been dealing with. Where this energy here definitely could be a lawyer, could be a judge, it could be a, a document that is sent out, the final say, the verdict, whatever the case is, that is going to clear up any confusion that is here. And I just see this person looking at all this chaos and saying enough is enough. It's over. Pisces is going to receive the good news that they've been waiting for. This chapter is closed out. The confusion, the delusion, it's over. And the heaviness that you've had to carry on your back, it's time to put that down and to let go of this manipulation that's in your life. Beautiful energy, Pisces. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I could just feel that you've had to be so patient and it has not been easy. Being in expectation of anything means that there's just been a long wait. Tell me about this thief. There's a potential that this could be a covert thief, like you didn't even know that you were kind of being swindled or taken advantage of. Wow, Seven of Wands keeps coming up. So there's definitely an energy here of boundaries, restriction, imprisonment. Someone you've really had to hold yourself up against. You saw the truth of their soul. You, tr you saw the truth of the situation. You said enough is enough. I don't trust you. Yeah, I definitely see lack of trust. Who's this thief? For some of you, if they didn't steal money from you, they could have just stolen, like, stolen a part of you, a part of your soul, stolen a part of your heart, um, hurt you. I often think of, uh, they say the devil is a thief. He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. So there could be some destruction. You have the sun card as well, though. So I, I really do believe that the sun next to the seven of wands is someone being illuminated. Not necessarily that this is a happy card, that you saw the truth. The light was shown on this person. Four of Cups in reverse. <laughs> you were no longer taking anything from this person. You weren't, you were, you're not wanting to wait. You're not wanting to rectify. You're not willing to wait for this person to come around anymore. You're done. You're like, this cup you've tried to offer me all these times before, I don't want it. I'm out. I see the truth. They could have been coming to you with like false, false offers, um, Things could have fallen through time and time again. Uh, empty promises. Strength card here. So you've had to have a lot of strength of heart to get through it. Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I keep getting this, en um, this energy that there's been a conversation. There's been some clarity. You see things for what they are. You see the truth of this situation. King of Cups in reverse. The lovers, 
Page of Wands. High Priestess on the bottom. My dear High Priestess, say so you knew exactly what was going on in this situation. You were able to see through it. And then even though <laughs> the moon card is below that, you had to trust your intuition to see through it. There was eventually this period of time that came into your life where you actually were able to see it in the light of day. So at first it was hidden from you. This person was very covert. They could have been doing things behind your back. It could have been subtle ways in which they were taking from you. Uh, you found out later that someone else was getting paid more than you. You were not being able to be in like equal give and take energy. I'm not seeing six of pentacles, but I'm feeling that. And eventually, with this King of Cups in reverse, for sure, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy could have been a more feminine energy in the last reading, more masculine in this reading, but Tara has no gender. A very emotionally manipulative person. They could have been telling you all these sweet lies. All the while, you're connected to this person. Could have been on an emotional or a contractual basis. And the two of you are trying to work together only for you to find out that all these promises were broken. And the energy that they were bringing to your life was out of a page. And so it's like you're ready to start fresh and go in a different direction. You have the desire to use the fire that you've really grown within your heart, having to be strong, having to have faith, having to move mountains, having to advocate for yourself, and you're ready to move on from the situation. But again, I do see with the Four of Cups that this person kept on coming at you with offers that were no good until you finally said with it in reverse, I'm not taking this offer, I'm walking away. You can keep that cup. You can keep that situation to yourself. Why this page of wands, spirit? Yeah, it's time to rebuild. So the page of wands um, is giving me the energy here of like, we kind of got to cover her up. A fresh start for you. And also with the three of pentacles, there's this energy of rebuilding. Your community changing, the people around you changing. And I feel like it's because you've had to start over because this person took so much from you. What was the truth that they saw with the Ace of Swords? You saw exactly why you needed to walk away. You could have also seen what they were doing in the dark. Tell me more. Definitely for some of you with the Three of Cups, there was third party situations. You may have seen conversations that they were having behind your back. Could have been on the internet. And two of pentacles, there could have been this energy where you saw that you were being juggled. You weren't the only one or they were juggling something else. A third party doesn't always have to be a romantic partner. It could be they were investing in another business. They were investing in their own hobbies. They were using that money to gamble, whatever the case is. Um, but somehow, some way, you were being juggled. There was a toss up energy here. You were not being prioritized. Oh, Pisces, what a heavy reading. But you see the truth. This emotionally manipulative person, they are not allowed in your life anymore. I love that this came in reverse because you completely shut them out. And our last card, which should be pretty self-explanatory, will be about the courtship. So where is this courtship going? Because we know that this is either a union a marriage, a family relationship. We have Knight of Swords, so there's about to be some quick energy coming towards you about this. So if there hasn't been, like, news, again, if you've been feeling like this has, like, been a stalemate, we've been moving very slowly, I, I haven't gotten any information, it's about to come towards you. It's coming towards you quickly. Nine of Wands. I think you're also dealing with somebody who could be a fire sign. Could be an air sign as well. Both of these energies, though, are going to cause sudden change. They're going to cause you to rapidly change course. If you've been feeling stagnant, there's going to be movement with the tower. It's all about to come to 
an ending, Pisces. You already know. The tower has come out three times. <laughs> that is crazy. But it just shows how volatile the situation has been for you. You are about to be given back your equal share. Whatever's owed to you, Pisces. Ace of Wands. A brand new beginning. So you have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the World card. It's over. This information that's coming in, that's going to allow this tower to fall for you to receive that which was taken from you, it allows you to start over. It allows you to build again. Three of Swords, very self-explanatory. This relationship has suffered and ended up in a heartbreak deep heartbreak so this was someone that you really really cared for eight of wands i'm getting two messages from this some of you once this tower falls you're going to be moving away so like departing from this person others of you these are the incoming messages i'll clarify but i feel like the tower falls and there's a separation a, a, a change of direction for you and there's like the knights going that way this car going that way so it's like there's this intersection that has to happen and then you move on. Yeah, two of wands. So this brings about a relocation. This brings about you looking over where you've been, how you got here, where to next type of energy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. Why this King of Pentacles? For some of you, it could be a greedy person. For some of you, it could be... Okay, it's the finances that are coming in. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Tell me more. Love it. It's more your energy, Pisces. Yeah, okay. So, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So what happens as a result of the separation is you walk away more stable, more grounded, more wealthy on your own two feet. You're in a masculine energy as well. Whether you are a feminine or a masculine, it does not matter. Will of fortune. This is a karmic return of what is owed to you. This is wealth. This is prosperity. And then the moon and the high priestess come through because intuitively you have been led down this road for a while. And it was almost like you could not see the truth for a while. Your high priestess energy, the tarot readings, diving deeper into who you are, looking at your circumstance with your third eye wide open helped you to see that it's time for you to walk into this prosperity. But overall, again, Pisces, what I see with these cards is that news comes in. And it could be quite volatile with both the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands coming through. Like, that's intense. I don't know that I've had them come out together. So it could be, like, straight to the point and also really disrupts the pattern of what's been happening in this relationship. This could be, like, from the legal person. This could be from them. Uh, so this could be kind of like they get served a message and they then talk back with you. The tower falls, leading you to equal return of what was taken from you. Balance is restored in your life. You have this ability to start fresh, start anew, build again, which keeps coming up as well. And after this heartbreak, after this severance of this bond, I see a lot of you are just literally moving on moving to better situations, literally, literally packing your bags. We also had the chariot show up here. So I also think that this process itself of you going through this hostility with this person brings about a relocation for you. And it it's going to be because not that because you're escaping, but because you're given the ability to come into this wealth, which I saw here. And this wealth transforms you into the king of pentacles. And you now have options to be able to go and do what you were waiting and in expectation for for a while. Wow, Pisces, that's beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful. And I feel just the need to tell you that you deserve this. 
you waited a long time. You were in this trapped energy for a while. You were dealing with a thief. Again, if this person didn't literally steal money from you, they could have kept it from you. They could have gambled it away. They could have been the type that just destroyed your life. They could have been a false person. But it's leaving you better off than when you when you when you got there you're turning into this privileged lady the expectation will be worth it this is a sense of false imprisonment pisces yeah very good all right my loves well i think that is where i'm going to end this off with you for today i hope that this message resonated if it did pisces go ahead and leave me a comment below just let me know what you're going through and hopefully we get to the bottom of all of this drama very soon and you can spread your wings and fly all right pisces i love you very much take care and i'll see you again tomorrow bye